God. We had a fantastic end of the year service just this morning. Glory to God. Yeah, once again, we would love to apologize for all of the issues we had with seating. And um, we are learning very fast that we need to make provision for seating in our special services. And that's why for Wine Press, this week we're going to make an announcement. Most likely, um, we will not hold Wine Press here. We would get a larger auditorium to hold it. So we can now all invite all our friends. So we had, yeah, I'm, I'm, all of you that had to be in the other overflows. Of course, more people start. We had literally five times more people outside the auditorium than in the auditorium on yesterday into this morning. So, you know, yeah, so we're just preparing to have more and more people. All right, so let's get into the word of God today. Are you okay? Have you said a happy new year to someone? Well, I've not seen you since, um, some of you have seen you yesterday, so I wanted to use the opportunity, happy new year. Say happy new year to someone. Happy, say happy new year. Don't I just say happy new year to someone. Good, 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 good. Happy New Year to someone. Uh, and it's our year of what? It's our year of undeniable exploit and what? And what? Exactly. So why not practice some laughter this morning? Praise God. Hallelujah. It's our year of undeniable exploit and laughter. It's our year of undeniable exploit and laughter. All right. Let's get into the word of God today. And the first thing I want to talk about, this one we'll not talk about today, how to Birth new seasons. Or maybe what to do to bring to pass a prophetic word. And the reason I'm saying so is this. The reason I'm saying so is this. It's not, maybe the reason I'm saying so is this. Sometimes you come across Christians that say, but God said this and this and this to me and nothing happened. It's almost as if God fooled me. And now when you come into this new year, you begin to say, he's a year of this, I beg, don't tell me any year of something because what God told me previously has not even happened. And most people do not realize that there's a human part to the fulfillment of prophecies. There's a human part to it. So they just hang everything on God. And God said, there's something you have to do. So today we're talking about how to bet new season or what you have to do to make the prophetic word come to pass in your life. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I, are you ready for the word of God? So the first thing is that why does God, why does God even give us prof prophecy in the first place? Why does God give us prophecy? One of the reasons God uses prophecies as tools to open our mind to possibilities. There are certain possibilities that you may never have except your prophecy. Noah had never thought in his life of a concept called rain until God spoke to him. And what God told him was rain was coming. Mary had never thought about the fact that a virgin could have a child until God spoke to him that a virgin could have a child. So prophecy is God's tool to open our eyes up to possibilities. There are possibilities of the spiritual realm. And prophecy is God's tool to open our eyes to it. Let me give us good scripture. Let me give you a good scripture. First Corinthians chapter 2. The Bible says in verse 9, But as it is written, eyes have not seen, Neither has he heard, neither has he entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them. But verse 10 says, but God has revealed. The question is that, why does God reveal? The reason why God reveals is because prophecy is God's tool for expanding our minds. Because as human beings, the tendency to look at life from where you are and look at life based on what you see is what you do. But God goes into a higher dimension and shows you something deeper. So why does God give us prophecy? Because prophecy are tools. I'm saying again, prophecy are tools for God to open our mind and show us new possibilities. It says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered the heart of man. The things that God has kept in store. But God has revealed to them. Very powerful. I remember, this is so powerful. I remember 
my God. I remember how God will be just in a very powerful way. He kept on telling me about things about the future. And he told me things about the future. I cannot, in fact, some of the things he told me now, you know, even till now, it's still very big. But the way God opened my mind was to show me those pictures. The question is that, what picture is God trying to show you that you're pulling away from? Glory to God. Yep, 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 yep. So, 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 God uses prophecies to, to open our mind. The second thing God does with prophecies is this. God uses prophecies as anchors. I, I don't know what you've done. I don't know if you know what an anchor is, but is anybody wearing a belt here? Yep, yeah, you, you can't, you can't. So, Truma is wearing a belt. And of course, people can wear belt out of fashion. But I don't know if I take off his belt, his shoulder will fall off. Because guess what? What holds this trouser up is the belt. The belt is what? An anchor. There will be times in your life that your life wants to fall apart. Prophecy holds you up. How does prophecy hold you up? You do a business, you lose money, you do this, you do this, and you remember that you, you want to look confused, you want to look drained, then you remember what God has told you. What has he told you? God has told that whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. You now say, although I cannot understand what is happening, but the word of God said this, that place of holding on to something is an anchor. Prophecy gives you something to hold on to when the days are dark and tough. And you know the thing? Most people want to hold on to things that cannot last. And when the days are tough, because now it's new year, everybody's emotion is high. Everybody has energy. How? Oh, it's a new year. Oh, the resolution, this and this, and that and that. You know, but by the time February hits you, like I beg, just another year, everyone was excited. But when you have an anchor, an anchor that's not based on emotion, you can go back and say, This is what God said. That's an anchor. That is an anchor. That's what prophecy does. A prophecy is an anchor. Question. I want to ask you, this year, would there be challenging moments? Yes or no? You want me to lie to you? I said there will be challenging moments. That's not true. God never promised you don't have challenges. He only promised you have victory. There cannot be victory without battles. God never promised. See, for God to promise you victory, there must be battles. Because if there's nothing to win, how do you become a victor? Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. So the reason why God gives prophecy, this is the reason why God gives prophecy. God gives prophecy for us to what? God, to have something to hold on to. I, I, I explained this some, some, some months ago, but I'm going to do it again. Is anyone that's engaged here that has an engagement ring? Anybody here? You know, thank you, Truman. I know you don't have one. You have an engagement ring. Here come, my sister. Thank you. She was so happy to show me. She's like, oh yeah, I got a ring. I don't know about them. <laughs> Do you have a microphone for her? Just come over here. You're even walking like a bride. Just look at the camera. Yeah. What is your name? Joyce. Doris. Joyce. 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 Yeah. Let me just look at the camera. That's fine. Let me see your ring again. Just, just, don't just show us that. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. What's his name? Victor. Victor. Yes. Do you see him all the time? Every day you see him. Every day. Mm, yes. Every day you see him. Every day. We are currently not in the same state. He's in Calabar. But that means you don't see him. Yes. Now you're confusing me. Every day for the past one year, I've visited him every day. No, no, no. No, exactly. I don't know times your friends say that this boy that is in Canada. Are you sure of what he's doing? Do they say that to you once in a while? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Good. When anytime you feel unsafe, do you find yourself looking at your ring and say, "But I'm engaged." I always touch it. <laughs> <laughs> when you touch it, what happens to you? I feel better. I'm Hold on. I want to say, 
Hope you know a ring is called a promissory ring. So it's what? A promise. Yes or no? It's a ring is a promise. Yes or no? Well, I'm saying this to you. Why does God that cannot lie, why does he promise you something? Because the only reason why you promise is because, hold me to my word. But if God does not lie, why does he promise? He doesn't promise so that I will fail. He promised to give you assurance. Human being promises so that they will not fail and to give you assurance. But because God cannot fail, the only reason why God promised you something is because God wants to give you assurance. So guess what happens to her, Joyce? When Joyce feels lonely and she, she, maybe she sees something or shares something, rest on social media about how people are deceiving people, she'll be like, hey, I'm not sure this victory is not like that. Then she will touch the ring and you'll feel what? What? Assured. You feel assured yes. that even if the other girls are the main one. <laughs> See, you know what God is saying? When you go through tough time, your word is the ring you touch so that you can feel assured. When you go to the hospital and the doctor says that, I'm sorry, um, the way I see it, they, they begin to speak big English and write writings you cannot understand. And say, eventually you can't have a child. You say, wow, you, you touch your ring and say, I feel assured. When you're going through a big breakup and you've been set breakfast, you touch your ring and you say, I feel assured. When, when you get the disappointment and you're rejected, you touch your ring and you say, I'm assured. You keep touching your ring every time life. But if you have no ring to touch, Sorry. <laughs> There's nothing to touch. The question is that when life is challenging to you, what do you touch? And this is why God gives you prophecy. Prophecy is that when, when life is challenging, you'll get to match and match begins to misbehave. And all of a sudden there's a delay somewhere. You say, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I know why I believe. He gave me a ring. I, I know why I believe. He didn't have to give me a ring because he doesn't lie. We gave me a ring to assure me. I know why I believe. When, when you get to July and they say something happened with dollar, you don't say, hey, I'm feeling. You say, I know why I believe. Because the ring gives me what? Assurance. Why? The word of God and prophetic work serves as an anchor in very difficult times. You know the problem? When you, when you go to difficult times, what do you hold on to? Thank you, my sister. So what word did God give us? What word did God give us? Let me read the word to you. Did you hear me? Let, let's, God said it's a, <laughs> the, God said it's a year of what? It's a year of undeniable exploit and what? Oh, someone say hallelujah. Now hallelujah is on the wheelchair. Someone say hallelujah. If you are happy to be in the first day of 2023, say hallelujah. You are going to shout three hallelujah. One, two, go. Ah. me i'm grateful i'm not in the hospital oh. you you can be posing i'm grateful i'm not in the mortuary oh. the dead cannot praise god only the living can praise god this morning i've come i've come with my face given somebody shout hallelujah ah, praise god don't let me start with you if i start with you, we will not live here ah. Baba modupe, be moje or call nino. Oh, I missed it, right? Modupe. Hey, bagamanana. Hey. God. <laughs> Let's shout the big hallelujah. Everyone that's obtained mercy, shout hallelujah. Please, you can have your seat. All of you in Ikeja, all of you in Bagada, I hope you are shouting. All of you in Antoni, I hope you are shouting. All of you in Alimoshoi, Kurdu, Abuja, I hope you are shouting. All of you 
of the online church, Fifth and Tony, Fifth Lecky, Aja. I hope you are all shouting glory to God. Hallelujah. So what did God say to us for this year? And let me explain the concept of God saying something. And this is the concept. Someone says, mm, last year, this year is not laughter. But was I crying last year? The next year I will not laugh again. Mm -mm. When God says it's a year of something, it's not as if he doesn't do that all the time. But he's telling you where his emphasis is in this time. Your husband can look at you and be like, hey, baby, I love your eyes. Does he mean he doesn't like that part of your body? But at this moment when he's looking at you, it's your eye that is giving him attention. God, God looks at the whole year and says, this is what I'm doing. It's a year of laughter and what? Undeniable exploit. But the question is, what does this mean? Let's see what the Bible, what the Bible says. Let's open the Genesis. Where did it come from? Genesis 21. Oh, glory to God. I said glory to God. Genesis 21. Where did this come from? Verse 6. Oh, are you there? This is what Sarah said. This is where the year of laughter comes from. And Sarah said, The Lord has made me laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me. What does the year of laughter mean? Number one. Number one. Sarah had a long standing issue of barrenness. He said, But the Lord has made me laugh. The year of laughter means that long standing issue will be dissolved. Are you, you, oh my God. But not just that. He said, the kind of testimony that God gave me was a communal testimony. That the people that heard also what? Laughed with me. Let me tell you something. Eh? There are testimonies you can hide. There are testimonies you cannot hide. Are you hearing me? What am I testimonies you cannot hide? I'll give an example. Uh, let me give an example. Testimonies you cannot hide. You know, when my wife got pregnant with my first son, we called my mom and told her that, oh, we, um, the, my, my, my wife is pregnant. And you know, my mom is not known for, you know, like saying all those things. She feels as if she keep it private. And she said to me, you don't have to tell me that. I said, why? He said, because pregnancy is not something you can hide. He said, eventually it will be obvious. And I said, oh, that's very powerful. I said, there are some testimonies you can hide. But the one that Sarah spoke about, it was a testimony that she couldn't hide. Because the testimony had noise, the cry of a baby. There are testimonies that cannot talk, but your testimony will talk. He says, he says, see what it says. He says, the Lord has made me laugh. This is your year that the Lord has made me laugh. And them that hear, because they will hear. <laughs> oh, somebody say hallelujah. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. When you were earning 20 million and you, you had you moved to 25, the difference will not be noticeable. They cost just 5 million. But by the time you move from 25 to 200, listen to me. You will not need to tell us that you have increased in income. We will see your branches in new places, yes or no? When we enter your office staff that used to have two staff, we now see 24 staff. It will be obvious. So when the Lord says the year of laughter, it's not just that you will laugh, it's that you will have testimonies that are visible. Oh, say that's my story. Testimonies that are visible. You can't hide the fact that you are married now. Because we'll see it online. It will be obvious what the Lord has done. So, this is what it calls when it says year of laughter. One, the weeping will be done. And let's keep going now. That, that's the first thing about the, the year of laughter. The second thing is the trench of the nine. Oh, yes. And this is where we get exploit from. Because. I wanted to understand the prophetic word we have so that you can stand on it and pray with it. They told me chapter 9 in verse 1. The Bible says this, Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day. He says, Go in to possess nations greater than thee. I love this. This is good. <laughs> this is good. I love this. He says, Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day. First of all, there is a change in dimension. He says, you are meant to pass over Jordan this day. That's what's happened today. He says, but now when you pass, he says, to possess nations. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. He says, to possess nations that are greater and mightier than you. What the, why do we call this exploit? Hey, hey. God says, you will possess nations that are mightier and stronger than you. You will do things beyond natural ability. That's why... If you understand the prophetic word, you will know that number one, 
from Deuteronomy chapter 1, chapter 9 rather, one of the key things about the prophetic indicators is this. This year has to do with a lot of pioneering, starting new things. How do I know that? Look at what it says. He says, you are to pass over. You've been doing business in 10 million and 20 million. God said, pass over to the other side. Then God says, possess. You know, this is one thing to pass to the other side. It's another thing to possess. Let me give you an example. Many of you do businesses, but your business range is between 20 and 10 million, and that's fine. But once in a while, you will get a contract of 50 million. You will. But after some time, you will go back to what? Your normal 10 million. The reason why is that you have not, you've just tasted that level. You have not possessed it. God says it's not time to what? Possess it. You'll get to that level. you settle there at 50 million. You now expand to 250. I expand to 150, 350, 400. That's what it means to possess. So see what, see what it says here. chapter 9. Let's go. Let's keep going. He says this. He says, here, O Esau, thou, it says, it says, thou art to possess nations greater and mightier than yourself. See what God is saying. God is saying that we are the biggest boy in your industry. You overtake them. Okay. I'm talking to those people on this side. God says the biggest people in your industry, you overtake them. See what it says. He says, thou art to go over Jordan to possess nations greater. And mightier than thou, cities, oh my God, cities great and face unto heaven. There are industry where entry barrier is very high. God says, such industries I will give to you. So what is this saying to us? Number one, this year is the year of pioneering. So we're going to be starting new things. Secondly, it's also the year of big thinking. Because it takes big thinking to even achieve some things. Smart thinking is going to be thrown out of the window. We're going to be thinking big right now. The third thing is this. It's the year of doing. It's the year of courage and doing. We will not just be praying. You don't possess by prayer. You possess by doing. Glory to God. You possess by doing. Then see what it says. See what, let me jump to verse 3 quickly. Understand this therefore, that the Lord shall go before thee. It says, it says, it's your year of intervention. You will have divine presence. You will not do this alone. He said, the Lord shall go before you. The fifth one is this. It's the year of spirit food living. It's a year where you partner with the Holy Ghost. Or, or, or this one, you know, some people say, you know, um, um, they just use the brain. No, this is not that year for the brain. The things that God has promised you were promised by the Spirit. They will be delivered by spiritual power. The Bible says, not by power. It says, not by might. It says, by my spirit. It says, not by power, not by might. He said, by my spirit. Oh my God. This is your partnership with the Holy Ghost. This one they will say you will pray. They break you up for the next level. You say, I can't get up. No, you discipline yourself. You get up in the morning. Because things must be different. Things must be different. You wake up. You open the scriptures. This scripture we used to pray. You use them to pray again. Why? Things must be different. This is about the Holy Ghost. They may encourage you to come to church. How would they be encouraging you in this new year? You need no encouragement. You should be one bringing that up to church. Because this is the year where you partner with the Holy Ghost and you will see the result of it. If you don't know the Holy Ghost, it's time to know the Holy Ghost. If you speak in tongues and you don't know what it means to fellowship with the Holy Ghost, it's time to learn what it means to fellowship with the Holy Ghost. When you just... They say, what are you doing? I'm fellowshipping with the Holy Ghost. Not the one you say that. Who likes me more? John or Mark? You will soon choose John Mark. Not the one you'll be saying that him. Um, um, since dollar has gone up, I should change business. No! You are strategizing by the Holy Ghost. You approach things from the spiritual. Oh my God. Can, can we go deeper? I can't even hear this. Can, can we go deeper? Did you notice in Genesis 1? Do you know how God made the things? The Bible says God made what? The heavens and the earth. The law of the spirit, you create spiritual substance for natural substance. How 
how, do you, how does God make things? God create the spiritual form first. Then the physical form will follow. The reason why most of you, your goals have not happened is this. You have not stayed in the place of prayer to create spiritual entities. You are only pursuing natural methods. So how does God do it? The Bible says, and God made the heavens. When they made the heavens, then the earth followed. Did you notice in the Bible? Human beings say morning and evening. Yes or no? Read Genesis 1. God never says morning and evening. What does God say? Genesis 1. Because uh, Hallelujah. So many of you are trying to create earth, but you have to create heaven first. That's why these 21 days we are praying. This one press. Anywhere you are, you will take out time from war because there are some results you want to see. Ah. There are some dimensions of the spirit that we want to enter into. Hallelujah. There are some breakthroughs we want to see as, as a family, as a person. And we know that we must settle the spirit first. Uh, I will come and bow down at your feet, Lord Jesus. In your presence. It's fullness, joy. Oh, yes. There is nothing, there is no one to compare. Oh, yes, Lord. In worship, I'll take pleasure. You know, I'm saying this to you. This is a year where we win by the Spirit. Oh. This is a year where we don't just depend on our understanding. We, we, we fight our battles from the Spirit realm. The Bible says when God made the earth, He made heavens and He made what? Earth. So we make the heavens first. We touch the heavens before we touch the business. See what the Bible says here. I want to show you something quickly. Genesis chapter 1. The Bible says this. And the Bible says in verse 5. And God called the day, the light day and the darkness night. And watch what the Bible says. And the evening and the morning were what? Oh, wow. Verse 8. And God called the filament of the heavens. And what did he say, verse 8? And what? Evening and what? Human beings say morning and evening. God says evening and morning. The reason why is that in the evening you need, in the morning you have testimony. The evening seasons are the seasons of intercession. That's why it says that weeping may endure for a night. Because night time is the time of Pradoka Mash Cobra Kataya. He says, weeping may enjoy for a night. Why? He said, joy comes in the morning. But the joy in the morning is dependent on the intercession and the tears that happen at night. It's time to sow some seeds for the, for the future. Glory to God. That's why it says the year of the Holy Ghost. It's the year of the Holy Ghost. One commitment you must make this year is this. Whatever God has told me to do, I will do it. It may hurt my flesh. It may kill my flesh, but I'm bent on it. The Bible says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You suppress the flesh. You compress the flesh. You subjugate the flesh. You discipline the flesh for the spirit to gain ascendancy. Praise God. All these excuses. And you know, I'm not pray you will learn prayer. You will learn Bible study. You will learn how to hear the voice of God. You give yourself to spiritual training. Oh, wow. Someone say hallelujah. This year, remember, the success is by the Spirit. You, I, I don't want you to settle for just coming to church. Yeah. Because you can go to Koyi Blood without being a member. Don't settle for church coming. Settle for encounters with Holy Ghost. Settle for encounters with God. Settle for genuine thirst, genuine pursuit of the kingdom. Why? When things get tough, you can say, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Someone say hallelujah. 
Someone say hallelujah. So we're talking about what the year means for us. What it means is a year of what? Is a year of what? Online and what? Yeah. So we're, we're pioneering new things. Laughter. By the end of this year, you know what you'll be saying? The most common song in your mouth will be this. See what the Lord has done. I, I can't hear you sing it. What we waited for Would that be your song end of this year? Your second song would be this. Hold on, follow me, choir. Follow me, listen and listen. My eyes have seen, my ears have heard. My, my mouth will talk, talk about the goodness, goodness of God. God. My eyes have seen. My, my eyes have heard. My mouth will talk about the goodness of God. Amen. That's what we will sing when you get the approval letter. On the naming of your baby twins, that's what we will sing. On your marriage day, what we will sing? My eyes have seen. My ears have heard. My, my mouth will talk about the goodness of God. My eyes have seen. My ears have heard. My mouth will talk. Your talk song is this. I never knew you will hold on me this way. I never knew you will hold on me this way. Can you declare that you shall I receive it? Hey. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I want you to declare something with me. If you do it right hand. And this is a declaration of faith about this year. In this declaration, we are December 31st. And this is what our story is. Say with me, my father, I thank you. For 2023, looking back has been the most amazing year so far. It was truly the year of laughter. And undeniable exploits. It was back to back breakthroughs and testimonies of the mercies of God. I made significant progress. It was with ears that the long standing issue that has made me cry for several years became a testimony. It was in this year that I came into a place of grace and rest. I broke through my finances. Every change to change in my career, every pending approval came without struggle. My income took a quantum leap. My commitment to Christ went to a deeper level. This is too much for one year. Much was significant for me because in one month, what should have taken me three years happened. When I thought March was the best month, July and October came running. With significant testimonies of the power and the glory of God. I look at my partner and my eyes is full with tears of the goodness of God. Of the mercy of God. Of the favor of God that has shown to me in 2023. Do you believe it? Do you see it? Shout I receive it. Please you can have your sin. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So how do you receive prophecy? So when God gives a word, and that's how you, this is what you do. This thing I'm saying is prophetic. How do you receive? The first thing is to hear. What are you hearing? Hear the word. That's why you must go back to the message yesterday and today and keep hearing it from time to time. Because the more you hear, the more fear builds inside. The second thing is this. Once you hear, understand it. Why? What is not understood can be stolen by Satan. That's why I'm taking this whole service to break it down to you. Because I want you to understand it. And the third thing is this. Don't just understand it. Believe it. Some will just come to church. You know it's first Sunday. Yeah, what do we do? Believe it. Believe that this is my story. 
that this is my year of undeniable exploit. This is my year of laughter. Believe it. That it, It's not what the Lord told the church. This is not what the told me as a person. And you begin to declare, I'm going to laugh in this matter. I'm laughing in this matter. I'm, I'm doing exploit here. Hallelujah. And the other thing you have to do is to pray it. In the place of prayer, we enforce prophecies. Have you noticed that sometimes the court gives an injunction, maybe on property, and you have people that live in that property. What would they send for you? They will send enforcement agents to come and what? Enforce what? The court order. That's what you will do. The prophecy is the document. When you get to February, you say February, and you say February trying to misbehave, trying to behave funny, then April trying to behave, you say, come here. This is the service document. I've come to enforce it. What am I enforcing? This year's year of laughter. Are you okay? March, begin to laugh. Ah, April, fall in line. February, fall in line. January, fall in line. No, not, not that we enter during that first hour, see sack later. What kind of sack is that one? You will want, you will want the month. Ah, the court of heaven have decided, the judge of all have decided. He has issued what he has issued a decree. And the decree says that this year is the year of what? Un, undeniable exploit and laughter. You, you don't want to bring something that will cause sorrow. Hey, stop it. So you will come with angelic forces that are enforcement agents and say, We have come to enforce that throughout this year, all we experience is laughter and undeniable experience. How do you enforce in the place of prayer? And that's why everyone here, there's no reason under heaven on earth why you should miss my prayers. Because it will be three days of enforcement, my God. And everyone that is sick, have any kind of delay issues, they are different. Days. I think the first day. Is for people that have marital delays, marital issues. The second day healing, barrenness. The third day, all kind of approval, approvals, business career breakthroughs. Because we are not here to play. This year must align. One of the prayer points we prayed yesterday was this: Let the law of divine timing work for me. We we commanded it that this year I will walk into right conversations. I will walk into right things. You know, was it Friday? It was Friday or Thursday, someone else. One guy gave me a testimony that blew my mind away. He said, Pastor, God answers prayer. I said, I said thank you, sir. Look, very responsible man. He said, I just want to tell you, I got this contract, 1.9 trillion. I said, ah, no, no, nah, ah. How can a human be getting one? Even with the, that, that I prayed, I couldn't believe. He said, you called and gave me a prophetic word. I said, I know, but this testimony is too much. Nah. Then he explained to me that this, test, this project is across nine African nations. And that this project has to be, it involves all the presidents. You have to get like World Bank, WHO involved. It's actually in dollars. It's in the translation into Naira. Like turns out to be that. I said, my God, see what the Lord has done. This year, God will use you as a reference point to prayer. When your friends are praying, they will say, Lord, the same way you did it for, do my own. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. The thing you've been planning for a long time, the way it will happen, it will shock you. But how do we start? We enforce by prayer. That's why this way, night wine press. I, please, I plead with everyone. I know that some of you are sophisticated. You only do Sundays. This is not the time for sophistication. This is time for raw, raw power. Raw power. I say, Lord, I'm ready for you. You'll get, you say, Lord, I'm serious with me. Be seri I'm serious with you. Be serious with me. Because there are issues. You would close the store. You close the office and go in with the platform. I'm here for an encounter. I've been playing with other wine press. I don't want to play with this one. Others are testifying. Why is my own different? Praise God. I said, Praise God. I said, Praise God. So you pray. You begin to pray. The next thing is this you become conscious of the prophecy. So as you go throughout the year, and that's why you could go back to the message, you become conscious of what God has told you. That is exploit, it's laughter, it's exploit and laughter. And the next thing is you begin to take actions. You can't be saying that it's exploit and be planning like a millipede. You're planning for 10% increase. No, no, no. Plan steps that are exploit in nature. Plan. Where is our Dubai office opening? Where is our UK office opening? 
how do we make the first 10 million dollars exploit nature break boundaries do things that nobody in your family has ever done open the door for your family members praise God take actions God spoke to me he said this year is the year for the bold it's the year for what? for the bold and the last thing is that fold it with thanksgiving in your speech in your giving thanking God that it's done shall we pray the Bible says as soon as Zion travel she gave birth let's go ahead and pray everybody oh glory to God let's go ahead will you stand on your feet we want to pray the word of the year into action like Mary be it unto me according to your word the word says the year of undeniable exploits and laughter. Lift up your voices. Let's go ahead and pray. Let pasto tabash kaparo de matela maha. O rapa keisha paya mataske parada. Ebele mesotea. In Jesus' name we pray. Will you lift up your hands towards heaven? Anything that is designed to cause you tears this year, I declare that God and his angels go ahead of you and destroy it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as the Lord leave it, by the time we're saying happy new year by the end of this year you will not be in the mortuary in the name of jesus christ anywhere you have invested money your investments will not be lost your project will not be destroyed you will go farther and farther long-standing issues this year they are swallowed in victory in the name of the lord jesus christ we will come to your house and celebrate you will climb on this stage to say a testimony. I don't know if you'll hear me. Before match is concluded, Parian to Karasu zele twashka prahala. Hana prasu egru to nandreso egre prasto shkata. I say you will climb on this stage to testify. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This year, two exploits, undeniable exploits, in oil and gas, two exploits, entertainment exploits, fashion exploits, real estate exploits, ministry exploits, education exploits, tech business exploits, in the name of Jesus, this year you become visible. Ania fra shoka bro, hello kopora sote leke ruata, ambala dina fra sinte mata. I said this year you become visible. Your name become your name comes into global recognition. In the name of Jesus, hapana kama ya sova. Listen and listen well. From the first day of this ministry up to now, we have never gone backward. From the first day that this church has started. Up till now, we have never gone backwards. Every year, we are always making progress as a partaker of the grace of this ministry. Let that grace work in your life. In the name of Jesus, begin to ride on eagle's wings. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The same God that does it here will do it in your company. He will do it in your life. Thank you, Lord. Many of you were at humble beginnings. But see where the Lord has brought us. And it was by grace. That same God. That same grace finds expression in you. You will come back and testify that the same oil that has worked here is working in your life. In the name of Jesus. 
Somebody shout, I receive it. Uh, that I receive is on the wheelchair. I didn't say say it. Shout, I receive it. Shout, I receive it. Shout, I receive it. Thank you, Lord. This month, the Spirit of God should tell everybody that does business. He said, be sensitive to the relationships around you. He said, I'm sending my answers already. Thank you, Lord. All of you online, write in the comment section, I receive it. Praise God.